that did not shizzle my mizzle. I've made a lot of albums with a lot of different people over the years, but when it comes to making one for myself, I like to do it live. I'm a bit impatient. I want to do it all with the best musicians I could find, and I've invited them here to the George Ballroom in St Kilda, and we're going to play ten songs that they've never heard before today. My honey dudes, my honey dudes, I paid my duty to do dudes, my honey dudes. My honey dudes, my honey dudes, sweeter than doodly do do do, my honey dudes. Have you got a, a plan? Bruce, is there? Right. I'm like, cool, man. Okay, we're about to uh, kick off here. This is the producer, Drew. Dr. Drew Thompson. Ernie Rose, the legend. Can you physically read all of that while you're playing? <laughs> We're ready to rock. It's built by the uh, rich folk of Tourette for the poor folk of St Kilda yeah. in uh, 1902. <laughs> only makes sense to start at the very beginning. So we'll start with Never Gonna Fall In Love Again, which was brought to me by a guy called Colin Peterson at EMI in 1975. It was a cover by Eric Carmen. When it came out in those days, it had the songwriter's name, Eric Carmen. When it came out years and years later, it actually said Eric Carmen, Serge Rachmaninoff. He had omitted the name Serge Rachmaninoff because he thought he was out of copyright thinking he was classical, but he actually wrote it in the turn of the century. So here's a song that I had a hit with, written by Eric Carmen and Serge Rackman, and I've never going to fall in love again. One, two. Yeah. 
love again I don't want to start with someone new Cause I couldn't bear to see it in Just like me and you No, I never want to feel the pain Of remembering how it used to be Part of your sound sort of loop. Uh, have, you, have you got it in there? I've got like a bottle top sound. Have you? Yeah, because that that thing needs to be tippity tight with Gaza, or it'll it'll throw out. Yeah. So I don't know. Uh, Joel Turner. What an extraordinary musician Joel is. We're going to see him today beatboxing, but he's a great guitar player, he's a great writer, he's a great musician. And it's fantastic to have him standing right next to Gary Young at 57, and he's 17. I love that. I'm a beatboxer, which is vocal percussion. Beatboxing has been around for a while, but um, it's starting to come back in, like um, through uh, Razel, world champion beatboxer and um, yeah I'm trying to get my beatboxing out there and I uh, went on Idol and that's how I that's how I met Mark I auditioned for Idol and um, then they gave me the gig and then he just rung me up and said hey do you want to come do this thing with these guys and have a jam and I'm like cool man going on DVD so sick I did it and um, I'm here today <laughs> well we're just sort of getting to the point now where if the mic's too far away from him, we can't use this one. No, we've got to have George at the George. <laughs> Scanny, we've got to have George at the George. We're sort of almost to the point of having to use him. Really? Well, if, we, if this works, we're not too far away from him. Oh, well, the other thing that looks a bit strange is the fact that when you tap on the foot, the mic's wobbling. Oh. Number 10 on the countdown top, top 10 is uh, Mr. Mr. Mark Holden, yeah. Fantastic, amazing, so spunky. This next song is a song I have loved and longed to sing for years and years and years, and have evolved my own kind of arrangement in my head, but I've never had an opportunity to actually express it until today. All in the game. One, two, three. to fall but it's all in the game all in the wonderful game that we know as Once 
little while he won't call But it's all in the game Soon he'll be there by your side With a sweet If everybody could sort of introduce themselves, just like not necessarily everybody in one chart, but just go around the circle, just so that because I don't know whether everybody knows each other, but certainly the viewer doesn't probably. I could start on my left. I'm Helen. Can you tell? You, just actually give us your name and and your and what? Yeah, just give us a little bit of who you are and what you do and. Very shy. <laughs> yeah. Start with the only woman in the circle. <laughs> Hi, I'm um, Helen Mountford and I play the cello and I've got two little kids who are two and four and I play in a band called My Friend the Chocolate Cake most of the time and I'm not doing this. I just want to take a moment to introduce you to the musicians here at the George Ballroom today. The MD is Jeff Burston. Jeff is a class act. Jeff's played with, what well, goes way back to Company Kane in the 70s but with great people like Jojo Zepp and the Falcons, the Black Sorrows, Vicar and Linda, and Robin Archer. And Jeff's really helped me put this together today and I really owe him a great vote of thanks. Good on you, Jeff. There's an intro thing between the mandolin and the guitar. Cool. It's about the only thing. Next song is a song that I wrote for my wife. It's the only song I've written this year, actually. It's been a really busy year, so I haven't been um, writing too much, but this is self-explanatory. Listen to the lyrics. I have paid my honeydews. My honeydews, my honeydews, I paid my Honey, I'll pay the rent. 
Well, that's before before uh, before beer o'clock too. It's not bad. Not even beer o'clock, and we pull one off. That's good. I turned 50 this year, and one of the best presents I got was from the mother of my son. It was a compilation of songs, and the very first song on the compilation was from Solomon Burke, and it deeply moved me. And I'm going to sing it for the very first time today, and it's called Don't Give Up On Me. If I fall short If I don't make the grade If your expectations aren't met in me Today There's always tomorrow Or tomorrow night Hang in there baby Sooner or later You know I'll get it right Please don't give up on me Please don't give up on me I know it's late Late in the game But all of my feelings My true feelings Have never changed Here in my heart I know I know I was wrong Wrong, 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 wrong I want to make amends For the love that I never Ever, ever, ever showed to you Please don't give up singers. I've got Joe Crichton, who's been in Billy T, John Farnham Band. I've got Gary Pinto from CDB, who I believe is one of the finest male voices in Australia today. And we've also got Steve Wade from the Little River Band. Great background singers. But now and then we get a chance to learn from our mistakes. But now and then we get a chance to learn from our mistakes. Should we have a crack at this one? This one is a song that I wrote with uh, with uh, Judith Durham, and um, we we wrote it we wrote it just when I came back to Australia, and and just when she was starting the first of the 23 last reunion tours, <laughs> and um, <laughs> and it was sort of appropriate <clears throat> for her at that point, starting over again and it wasn't appropriate for me. And, um, and then um, Shannon Noel recorded it on the aisle 
thing, so it was appropriate mm -hmm. for him and let's have a crack at it, starting over here. That's thank you very much. <laughs> Fortune, indulgence, they were the days. <laughs> but this new connoisseur yogurt, it puts a whole new level to indulgence. I tell you, you won't be just wasting this on your breakfast cereal. Oh, oh there's fruit down there. I just love fruits. <laughs> The more fruits, the better. <laughs> I'm such the judge. I'm, I'm... <laughs> I wrote the next song with Robert Pardee and Vanessa Amorosi. It was originally called Die, but we changed it to Shine. But, ironically, it ended up being Ansett Airlines theme song, so perhaps the original title was the most appropriate. <laughs> but I'm really proud of this song. It's called Shine.
You can close your eyes and hope that when you open them, you got a brand new life. Well, you'll find that you can't hide. You can give it your life. You can lose your soul. This guy is an absolute classic. Gary Young, from way back with Bobby and Laurie and the Rondells, from his own solo hits, from his days with Daddy Cool, to his days with Jojo Zepp and the Falcons. He's a DJ on radio. He is the coolest of the cool on drums, Gary Young. Oh, I've got a joke I want to tell you, Mark. Go on. What's the difference between a drum kit and a vacuum cleaner? <laughs> the position of the dirt bag. <laughs> <laughs> One of my proudest achievements um, working in the United States all that time was my relationship with The Temptations. I was able to uh, write three songs for them, two of which became hits, and appeared on the Empress of Soul compilation CD, as well as one of them appearing on the Motown Greatest Hits 72 to 92. And it's a song called Lady Soul. One, two, one, two, three, four. Whoa, whoa, whoa.
for the drama. Thank God for the drama. Did you just remember them? Yeah, yeah, just made it up. <laughs> Did we get an ending? It's, it's okay for us, we're old to this, but the problem is that Joel's forgetting too. <laughs> <laughs> you have another excuse, man. He's getting contact flashbacks. <laughs> in 1856, Samuel Holden came to Melbourne from Antrim in Northern Ireland. He begat sons and daughters who begat sons and daughters. And amongst those sons and daughters are myself, Mick Holden and Dallas Holden. Mick's great-granddad, Adolphus Holden started the Holden Circus in the 1890s and it ran through Victoria, South Australia and New South Wales all the way until television killed it in the 60s. And through that period of time they travelled with a guy called Tex Morton. Through Tex I found these songs and just felt deeply in love with these songs that he recorded in the 30s on the Regal Zonophone collection. And the two songs that the Holdens are going to do today of Texas are Dreams of Silver and just plain folks.
who's actually not a Holden, is Roger Treble, who's done a lot of arrangements for us and is a brilliant guitar player and played with Army. He was a Renaissance lute player for many, many years and also was in Bobby and Laurie's Rondells for years. Roger Treble. George is Steve Hadley. 
Steve Hadley, he's played with Paul Kelly, Renee Geyer, The Black Sorrows, great, brilliant bass player. And on piano accordion, it's George at the George, George Petrumlis from Zydeco Jump, the Melbourne Symphony Orchestra, The Black Sorrows, George Petrumlis, what a legend. I spent a month in Castel Fidalgo, which is the, the sort of mecca of accordions, really. There's a <laughs> bunch of factories there where they build them. A mecca of accordions? <laughs> Gary's the only one who laughs. <laughs> and last but not least, there ain't nothing like a great B3 player, and Brucey Hames is one of those. Class act, Brucey Hames. I just want to introduce a person who's uh, uh, maintained a friendship with me for 30 years, which is actually possibly the only one. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, yes. Uh, I don't know how we managed to become friends. You went away for 20 years. Oh, that was it. Ross is the one who got me back playing the guitar and singing in public, coming out to sing along at his shows. And um, Ross is going to join us. And this is our final song. And I just wanted to say thank you to absolutely everybody here, the, these fantastic musicians. It's a really, really great day. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, Ross, you haven't had anything. No, it's okay. <laughs> and, and also to everybody that we can't see back behind here. All, all the camera guys and, and the scanners of McManus and, and Pierre and Matt and everybody. Um, thank you so much for making this day happen, actually. Once in a lifetime experience. And this, we, the reason we like this song, Ross, right? It's because it was written by, you know, our, our heroes. The Wilburys, yeah. The Wilburys, yeah. our heroes. And, and what it says is so positive. And it was a bunch of old men, you know, again, you know, Roy and. You've got this age thing. Yeah, I have. I have indeed. No, but this is this is what the you know the brilliant minds of Bob Dylan and those guys that they thought of something really positive. Indeed. And, and it's fantastic that they did. Um, so we're gonna have a crack at it. End of the night. End of the line. Sit around waiting for the phone to ring At the end of the line Waiting for someone to tell you everything At the end of the line You can sit around waiting for what tomorrow may bring Or maybe a diamond ring But it's alright Even if they say you're wrong Well, it's alright Sometimes Somewhere down the road where somebody plays Purple Haze
Thank you. Thank you, lady and gentlemen. Great day. It's beer o'clock. Well done, dude. It's beer o'clock. You do it. It's beer o'clock. Beer o'clock. <laughs> Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. A big hand for Mr. Mark Holden for oh, spending you, all this money. <laughs> <laughs> Time. 